Daniel, honey, have you finished your homework yet? Daniel, stop messing around and do your homework. Hey, you got any homework tonight? I did it at school. Good, there's a game on tonight. It's gonna be a great one. Okay. <laughs> in these two scenes, both Laura and Chris are involved in making sure Daniel gets his homework done. But what are the odds that he actually does it? Not very high. Whether it's because he's put off by Laura's shouting or tempted by Chris's distraction, Daniel's parents have both missed the perfect opportunity to teach their son something about self-discipline and responsibility. This brings us to the fourth item on our list of seven smart things active parents do to help their children succeed in school. Structure homework time. We've discussed how most kids benefit from having some structure in their lives, such as bedtime routines and family guidelines for behavior. As with most things, dictator parents tend to take this too far and provide too rigid a structure that can never flex, while doormats tend to provide too lax a structure that does not give the child enough support. The active parent's goal is to find a good balance between these two extremes. There are four important steps you can take to structure homework time in your family. One, help your child set up a regular work area. Some kids prefer to do homework in their bedrooms, while others like the kitchen table. The key is that it is quiet, well lit, has a good surface to write and spread out books, and is free from distractions such as the TV or other people congregating. Some choices may depend on your child. Listening to music, as long as it isn't too loud or intrusive, seems to be okay for many kids, while others prefer quiet. But don't fall for the old, I can multitask routine. They can't. What most people think of as multitasking is really just the mind switching back and forth between tasks, which is not good for learning. This is especially true when one of the tasks is watching TV. A better rule of thumb is to do what you are doing, then move on to the next task. Another way to help structure your child's homework is to agree on a regular study time. You may need to vary the times to work around other activities like sports practice or music lessons. What's important is that you make a schedule and encourage your child to stick to it. This will underscore the importance of learning and help your child learn to avoid procrastination. Okay, so we agree the best time for homework is right after dinner, Sunday through Thursday, one hour each night. But what if I don't have any homework? If you don't have any homework or if you get done early, then you can read a book or you can get ahead on another project. The idea is to use that time and get in the habit of learning. Again, remember that flexibility is also important. So when something unexpected comes up, arrange another time for homework on that day or change the schedule to something that works better. Our third homework tip is to treat your child's regular study time as a learning time for the whole family, a time at which your home is quiet and everyone in the family, yourself included, is doing something to further their learning. This sends the message that in this family, we not only value schoolwork, but more importantly, we value learning. Finally, the fourth thing you wanna do is to make sure your child develops a good homework to-do list. Keeping track of assignments is too hard to do by memory. Every successful person learns the value of making and checking a to-do list, whether it's for school, housekeeping, the world of work, or one's social life. Teach this invaluable skill early, and you can keep your child's favorite excuse from becoming, I forgot. One more thing. If a teacher lets you know that your child has been skipping homework or turning in incomplete assignments, you may need to check his homework for a time and perhaps add some logical consequences for continuing to miss assignments. But as long as your child accepts responsibility for doing his work on his own, we recommend that you continue to stimulate his independence by leaving it to him.